Hi, I'm Etsy, your wine curator here at Plonk Wine Club, and I wanted to tell you a bit about uh, the features that we have selected for you for February. So I'll start with a very, very cool bottling from Austria. Now this is a, uh, an Austrian red. Typically most people have experienced uh, whites from Austria, Gruner Veltliners and Rieslings, but I actually really love the red wines coming out of Austria. And the sort of hub for reds in this country is the region of Bergenland. Um, so we have a very, very cool wine. It's made of the grape Blaufrankisch. Now Blaufrankisch is sort of Austria's signature red varietal. This is made by a great producer called Kopfensteiner. And I like to think about uh, Bla Blaufrankisch as sort of a great substitute for Pinot Noir lovers. It sort of has that light to medium body texture. It's very bright, very, very floral, super elegant. You'll get some really nice um, black pepper notes, lots of violets on the nose, and really, really pretty raspberry fruit. And then moving on to a white feature we have this month, we have a great wine from the French region of Savoie. Now this is an alpine region, so you'll get like really high elevation vineyards. The wines are very crisp, very um, sort of salty. You have that briny note that I love about this, this particular region. And the grape that's featured here is called Jacquer. Now the producer is Marc Portaz. This is a very special bottling that they make called Abime. And um, this wine really reminds me of some Thing that almost has a sort of coastal sensibility. You get a lot of um, kind of crushed, crushed uh, rocks notes, crushed um, oyster shells, seashells. It has this sort of great salinity that really, really makes this wine unique. And then a third wine that we're featuring this month comes from the northern Italian region of Alto Adige um, Trentino. And it's made by a producer called Marco Donati. And the grape that, um, that's uh, featured in this wine is called La Grine. Now, La Grine can sort of be done in two styles. There are some light-bodied La Grines that are made with stainless steel that are um, sort of more entry level, a little bit fresher, um, a little bit more easy drinking. And then La Grines can also sort of come off as Cabernet Sauvignon. So they have that sort of structure, that little bit more meatiness, a little bit more um, body and texture. Now this wine sort of straddles both of those styles. It's really one of my favorite examples of this great variety. It has this beautiful dense blackberry fruit that's so defining. It's just really an incredible uh, red bottling from Northern Italy. So hopefully you'll enjoy these selections and we will see you next month.